Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another PFL Tuts video tutorial. Today we are working on the new PFL Tuts homepage. Uh, so our, our idea for it is to have six boxes here, uh, classifying the six main sections of tutorials that we have. Right now we have three of them, but unfortunately they are just, you know, just coded within the, uh, the text editor of WordPress. Uh, what my plans are is to create a new template like this and to have the code hard coded in the back end. That's what she said. So what we're gonna do is come over to our website files here. And if you open up template, you'll see all our different templates here, which coincide with the ones right here. So to save us some time, all we're gonna do is grab one of the templates, which is template one column here, and duplicate it. And then we'll rename this to template, maybe we'll do home six boxes. All right. Save that, double click it, and that's the one that we're gonna be working on. So within this, we're gonna have this, uh, we need to add some code to the top here. So we need a template name. So we're gonna name that uh, homepage six boxes. Doesn't really matter what you call it. And then we don't need this description. I don't need it at least. And then we'll just leave the rest of the code there. So we save this. And if we pop in over here to our editor, we can now go to this drop down and we'll see homepage six boxes. And I have two of them. Let's delete this one. Just to make sure we're working with the right one. Homepage six boxes. Excellent. Update it. And then once we refresh this, nothing's probably going to change. Nothing changes. Okay. So what we want to do is uh, no longer use this information here. Uh, we can keep it there for now, but uh, that way you can kind of see what we're doing. We're actually going to pop over to here, which is our template, and we'll keep all this information here. And then just above this, uh, we're going to start working. And just for the purposes of this tutorial, I am going to uh, put the style sheet within this page here, but you'll probably want to put it into your own styles. I just don't want to be flipping back and forth and confusing you guys. So to start off, let me just see if I can change my preferences and make my font sizes larger just so you can see things better uh, select and let's bump this up maybe to 18 let's see what that looks like 24 should be crazy now let's go with 18 that's good if you guys can't see that then uh, maybe you guys got a little bit of problems alrighty so to start off we are going to just create our div tags uh, which are going to be our containers for our content. All right, so we're going to do div class and we're going to name this box container. And then inside of this, we're going to actually, we're going to have three sections. So the first box container is going to contain three boxes. And the second one is going to contain three more. So we're just going to duplicate it. So in here, we're going to do another div with a class name of, um, Let's see. Uh, actually, let's name this box housing, maybe. And then this one we're name box container. Or, sorry, box single. Perfect. All right. So in here, we're going to we're gonna do one more div, and then we'll close that up. Then in here we'll do div class equals box content. That way we can have some text inside of the content. We'll, or inside the box we'll do sample text. Okay. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna duplicate that three times. One, two, three. Clean that up a little bit, and then we will copy this and paste it one more below it. So there we go. We have our two sections, and we'll do add some comments to make it easier for you guys to see. Um, top three boxes, and then bottom three boxes. Excellent. So I'll save that. We will refresh this, and you'll see. Boom! Oh gorgeous control yourself guys it gets better 
All right, so now we have the basic code, we can go ahead and do the simple uh, styling. So up here in, uh, let's just put it up here for now. Then you guys, again, you're gonna wanna put the styling into your own stylus sheet, but I'm just gonna keep this here so we can kind of edit it and see what we're doing at the same time. So we're gonna start off with box container. Oops, actually let's just do, uh, we're gonna have to load up our stylus sheet. Type equals, um, text slash CSS, media equals screen, excellent. Then we'll close out that style tag. And then inside of here, we can start doing our code. So we wanna start off with box container. Then we also have, um, box single and then we also have our um, box content so now that we have that we can start uh, our code so I'm gonna space this out a little bit so you guys can see better uh, we're gonna start off with a box container <clears throat> which is containing the three groups so it's this section right here and then this one as well so this is just the whole housing of our boxes. So what we wanna do is ensure that this is scalable and resizable. So I'm just gonna throw out a, a simple size. <clears throat> we might have to edit it later on. So we're just gonna do a max width. And the width of this is gonna be 1050, 1050 pixels. And then we're gonna do a display block. Um, now I'll go down to the next line and we'll do uh, overflow hidden. That way, everything that's outside of this box gets hidden and nothing is just is poking out of here and messing up the rest of our code. Overflow hidden, <clears throat> and then we're gonna center it margin zero auto. And that just centers the, the div tag within our content. And then we're just gonna give it background color just so we can see what we're doing. And I'll do a light gray. So we save that. Let's see what that looks like on here. You'll see we got that simple little box right here, which we probably don't need because we're using we could use this background box here. But for these purposes, I'll just leave it for now. Okay, simple enough. And now we want to work on our our single box. So here we have single box, and that is this one right here, which is housing, uh, which is pretty much going to be like this entire box right here, which is housing the image. So on this, we're going to do a width. And we want to do this 33% because there's going to be three boxes. So three divided by three is 33. Beautiful. And then we're going to give it a height of 200 pixels and you can change this to whatever you want. And then I'm just going to give it a background color of black, just so you can see what we're doing. So let me save that. You can see what we're at. Nice. And they're just stacking up on top of each other because we don't have the padding, right? Okay. Excellent. So let's come down here. And we'll do uh, float left. That way they, you'll see what, what that happens. Put it left and now they go side by side. Cool. And then uh, this is gonna space it out a little bit. So I'm gonna do padding and I'm gonna do the top of zero pixels, right zero pixels, left five pixels, no, top, right, bottom five pixels, and left five pixels. Save that. And you'll see it kind of messed up our spacing, but we'll go ahead and fix that. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, so right now with the padding, I forgot this part actually, our padding is actually pushing outside of the box. So while it's 33% of this space, the padding adds more. So it's 33 plus the five pixels padding. So we need to change that. So the padding doesn't affect the actual width. So to do that, we're gonna use some CSS magic and we're gonna have to classify this for um, WebKit, uh, Mozilla Firefox and also just normal browser. So we'll do WebKit, uh, WebKit box, what is it, box sizing, there we go. And then border box. And then we're gonna call it off for Mozilla, box sizing. And then this one's gonna be border box as well. And then one more just for the normal CSS is box sizing. Box. Save that and this should have worked. 
Cool. So it's sized uh, right next to each other. So again, uh, it's 33% of this width, and with the normal, uh, not the box sizing padding, it is 33% plus the five pixels, making it over 100%, causing that uh, spacing issue. All right, following along. All right, so now that we got that, let's clean this up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna work on the box content, which is gonna be the inside of here. All right, now that we got that, what we're gonna do is actually gonna remove the spacing of this last box here. So we're going to do box single and then last child. So we're gonna call the last box of this whole set. So the last one here is gonna have a different padding. So for last child, we're going to say uh, padding. We're gonna have zero on the top, five on the right, five on the bottom, and then five on the left. Save that and let's see what that did. Should have spaced it out better. So you can see there's a little gap right here. And that'll become evident once we uh, add this box content. So let's see. So for this, we're gonna change this background. Uh, and then you'll see what we did. Background, 666, okay. Let's save that and let's see if that changes something. Okay, so you can see the spacing. So here, let me remove this real quick so you can see what we're talking about. Save that, refresh this. And there you go. Uh, so we have some padding on this side here, but there's none on this side. So I wanted to change that by calling this last box. Uh, so let me paste that back in, save it, and refresh it. And you'll see it has equal padding on this side and this side. Excellent. It turned out real well. All right, so now we just got to change this box height uh, so it fills up the rest of the spacing here. So to do that, we're going to go back to this box content. And we're going to say display uh, block. And width, we're going to give it 100%. And a height of 100% as well. Save that. Refresh this. Boom. Six boxes all right there. And now you can fill that with whatever content you want. Alrighty. So uh, that's actually going to finish off this tutorial. That's just a quick way of showing how to create the six boxes here. And then, of course, edit it and make it your own special way uh, with your own styles and whatnot. Uh, so let's just go over this real quick so you can see exactly what I did. So I got a box container. And that is this whole gray box in the background here containing everything. And then inside of that is a single box, which is this black in the back here. And then inside of that is the actual box content where we can add our images and, uh, and whatnot, which is this gray area here. And then these are the styles for it. So you got that the whole content area and then box single. And it's very important to change the border box, uh, the border sizing to box, border box. So the padding doesn't mess up our responsive width, which you can see if I'm scaling this in, everything stays pretty. All right. And then uh, just some simple padding, uh, change the last child so we have equal padding on the right side as we do on the left side, and still stays responsive and everything. Wonderful. Simple, simple. All right, guys, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave any comments below, and uh, we'll get back to them as soon as possible. And again, please subscribe, and uh, check out our new website coming soon. Thanks, guys. Take care.